Pre ride, re ride free ride because that was one of my worst crashes ever. This crash happened sort of pointlessly. Like it was a stupid crash. A lot of people have been commenting like, was it even real? I do a lot of green screen work and there's been a debate in that video as to where whether or not the crash was real or not. Well, it was real, very, very real. I got tore up. Back. As you can see, my arm got a lot of road rash and basically my entire right side is just a big bruise. Let's talk about the crash and what happened. I did an episode last week called If Wes Anderson Made a Mountain Bike Movie. And that day, I had been out bouncing around town filming everywhere. So here I am at Canuga, and first of all, not a small drop. Okay, I'm framing it up and I'm like, yeah, sweet. That shot looks great. Man, it looks huge from here. And then I walk up to go do the shot because I'm in a hurry. I've got to get this done and move on and continue to film. Film, 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 film. There's so much more that I need to film. What had happened was is that I decided since I did the drop last week and it felt so comfortable and doable. I can do that. There's a lot of things here that are on my progression list that I want to do. Is this drop behind me? It is the first drop uh, on the black diamond jump line called Tombstone here at the bottom uh, near the parking lot of Canuga. I have been wanting to hit this drop for a really long time. I never in a million years thought I'd actually send it, but if I were to do this drop, it would be one of the biggest drops I've ever done. Filming a sketch video today, didn't expect to do anything in, the, in terms of progression, but I just, I don't know, it's just one of those things where like you wake up and you feel like today's your day, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna send it here. I don't know why I'm doing this. that with progression in mountain biking like once you do something you're like oh that wasn't so bad and then you start to think well that's in my arsenal now I can always do that now I'll just do it and so I went up there and I had not ridden my bike at all that day I'd literally been bouncing around town filming uh, <laughs> dressed as Steve Zissou from the life aquatic does this not look real to you is this real is that real? Which also gets you a great deal of attention when you're at the bike park. So I went up there, I was like, look, I just need to knock this shot out. This drop is easy, I've done it, it's chill. I'll just do it and then move on with the rest of my hectic day. Chop, chop, let's go. And I didn't pre-ride, re-ride, or free-ride. Oh. Hurts, bro. The problem was not the drop itself, it's the run-in. You can't just take a straight shot into it, you have to do a little circle on the platform, build up your speed, and then torque it toward the end. And all I can remember was from the first day that I was doing this, my feet kept being mid-stroke going off the drop, which is sketchy, and I didn't like that. So on this particular one, I was like, I'm gonna clean it up. My focus was get the sprint, but get my feet level, then preload, pop, and make the transition more more smooth, more clean, whatever you want to call it. That's what I was focusing on. And by the time I realized I hadn't preloaded, my front tire was already off the edge. And you can see I try still. Because your brain, things are happening fast right there. It's like split second stuff. And I tried to preload then, but my, my tire was in the air. So instead, it just dips off the edge. And then I proceed to go OTB at full sprint. And you can hear the carnage. Yeah, let me tell you something, okay? I, I'm a, I think I'm a pretty decent filmmaker, but I am shit at stuntman work. Hey, just sit still for a second. Fucking getting old is not fun, all right? For those of you who don't know, I'm 41 years old. Dude, I'm gonna be waiting for the next video, that's for sure. I wonder if this is still rolling. Hey, what up, Bobo's video? There, I said it. Now you know. I'm an old guy. And when you get old, you don't you don't bounce like you used to. Stupid Wes Anderson trend. Good thing you got the walker for the prop for last week's video. There is always that part in your brain that's like, is this karma for buying that walker? And for the past week, Sorry. my pregnant <laughs> wife has been taking care of me. It's okay. She is done. Nurse Allie is like done. She's off call. She doesn't want to have to take care of her busted up husband anymore. This is my job. This is what I do for a living. And that also is what contributed to this accident and inevitably has led to me questioning as to whether or not this is something I can continue to do. But first, let me tell you about this week's sponsor, 
Factor. That's right, because today's episode is once again sponsored by Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. They have a team of gourmet chefs creating each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Plus, they come with premium produce like the broccoli and broccolini to perfectly complement your protein. Are you too busy this summer to hit your dietitian goals? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store. No prepping, no cleaning up, all while getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. So all you have to do is heat, eat and enjoy and with all that extra time you can get back to crushing your fitness goals because trust me when i say exercise is only half the battle if you are on a weight loss journey you should know by now that diet is super important maybe just as important so go to factor75.com or just click the link in the description below and use promo code bobo50 and get 50 percent off your first order and once again a big thanks to factor for sponsoring this video that's right, a good crash video needs a good sponsor, you know? And, and this is not the only crash that I've had in the name of, uh, you know, making content. I love riding bikes. I love bringing these adventures to you, and I love making mountain bike content. Like, it's been my dream. I'm, I'm living my dream. But I'd be lying to you if I said I haven't thought about stopping. I'm not gonna quit. I'm not quitting. I just, I'm just look, being honest that I've thought about it. Mountain biking is a dangerous sport. And uh, it's something that we're constantly reminded of. But I got a baby on the way. I'm gonna be a dad for the first time. In like three months, I'll be a dad. Because I remember all too well what it was like when I destroyed my shoulder and was off the bike for nine months. And I really don't wanna go through that again. Plus, when you're hurt and you can't make videos, you also can't make money. So you know, supporting my family is super important. So yeah, moving forward, I just gotta remember, even if I'm filming and in a hurry, I gotta warm up, I gotta get comfortable on the bike. But lesson learned. I had to learn the lesson the hard way. It actually made the video really awesome. I think I don't think I could have scripted a better ending so but it's amazing to me how you can f it up something that you feel like you're capable of doing and you've done a million times you can still mess it up on any given day re-ride pre-ride free ride this is once again a PSA don't be like me please if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet subscribe and uh, thanks for watching I'm gonna go ice up now because your boy's in a lot of pain all right thanks all right bye, bye.